You wrong. Peace and blessings is real. Uh, first and foremost, man, uh, you know, before we get into this word, uh, we got to give all praises, glory, and honor to our Heavenly Father, your Howard. Only begotten Son, your Howard, sir. Man, that's simple, y'all. Listen, man. We got the elder here, his son as well, myself, man, the original Jewish mob, the realest church in Israel. Okay, the up to shit, up to no shit churches here. Um, the most controversial church in Israel. That's us. Um, today, you know, we got, we're going to expound on or however the spirit take us. But one of the things we do want to touch on is the White Lives Matter uh, fiasco that's going on. Uh, not with Kanye himself, but, you know, individuals that's running a ramp and talking about it. It just showed me and my brother just, we knew you niggas was gone, but you niggas is all the way tapped out, bro. Yeah, thanks. Um, uh, Elder, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to lean on you, man. What, give me your, what, what's, your, what, what's your take with these monkeys, dog, when it comes to... Well, voice in their their distaste. Well, let's be realistic. What where has where has what media outlet had do you think most black people have heard about the Kanye West White Lives Matter t shirt? What what media outlets? What what media outlets are at the top of that information getting out? Is it mainstream television? Is it Facebook? Is it Instagram? Is it YouTube? Because those are really the top nigga technologies. So I would I would bend to say <coughs> we're gonna lean towards Instagram and Facebook as as the top places that black people got that information. I I would I would put YouTube and a uh, regular television program at the back of those um, media outlets like Facebook and Instagram. God. So I'll go far as to say is, if I had to take a wild guess, which I could be wrong, I would say the majority of black people found out about Kanye and uh, his fiasco with the White Lives Matter t-shirt through Instagram. Through sharing on Instagram. Kind of. Yeah. Um, which is owned by Technitos and Brails, which is grape drink, which is uh, fake juice. Facts. Facts. I mean, dude, we talked about it earlier this morning. I, one of the things, man, that I, um, man, I want you to grab this, bro. That, uh, I I got something for you too, bro. Dad, you, uh, uh, text 2 Timothy 2.16. We're we going to start with that because um, last time I checked, man, we all grown men. Since when would a grown man wear and says matters to you? Niggas always worry about the wrong thing. What does it say, I can add 2 Timothy 2.16, man? But shun profane and vain babbling. For they will increase unto more ungodliness. Sean Provain, Sean Profane and Vain Babylon. When you got Meek Mills and all these people talking about, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. See, man, I I, I knew you was on that bullshit, this, this, and that. All because a man wore a t-shirt that says White Lives Matter, dog. You got it's like that. How simple niggas can be. It's simple. I, it's like, okay. Dang. You have you have the murder rate. In every major American city where Negroes live, they smash each other's brains all in the street, left and right. They trying to smash our brains in the street. Yeah. Provoke provocation. Yeah. Um, mental illness. The lack of um, what's the word I'm looking for? Deny, the lack of admitting that you have a mental or psychological problem. Guess what I can openly say about all three people in this camp that are sitting in this room, and I can say it without even 
without even counseling on him at first. We all are mentally ill. Why? Because we understand that as a Negro, a so-called black man, an Israelite, in this captivity, there is no sanity for us. It's, it's perpetual fright. It's perpetual God. uncertainty. It's perpetual um, uh, fear of physical harm. God. From someone who looks just like you. Mm -hmm. It's the lack of knowledge. Not being taught how to be men. Uh, over the generations. That have plagued us. And not understanding how to eat. Not understanding how to deal with our families. Not understanding. The, this, is, this is the admittance of. What it is to be a black man in America. We are all mentally ill. We're just working our way out of it. The average black man that you ask, if you say to him, you know you're mentally ill, they're going to get mad because mental illness sounds like you calling them poor. Now, they'll call Kanye West mentally ill. And this is how you know that the Negro in America has cognitive dissonance. Yeah. Kanye West was, and you can, and this, it, this is a timeless video. Go to the Drink Champs. He specifically addressed the issue of people thinking he was crazy. He said, look, uh, I'm a billionaire and I be hanging out with Elon Musk. And so when you go out to Silicon Valley, you know, if you're not rich like me, then you can't get into certain things. So I go out to Silicon Valley and they take me up in these rooms and they show me how they make these video games. They show me how they put these computers together. And he was like, I'm telling you, man, you know what I'm saying? This, this shit is, it'll mess your head up. Black people would hear him say that and then be like, oh, dude, crazy. Man. But he in the upper room. <laughs> Listen, bro. Let me ask you this. How I'm gonna call a man crazy who been in the in the top secret room? You can't. So he go in the top secret room, and then when he come out, what was in there? And then he tell you, man, this was in there. Man, you crazy. That's and then this nigga live in the project saying it about you. Yeah. After after Elon Musk and me, yeah, he was in there with me. I showed him some shit. Yeah, it fucked him up. Damn, right. Man, that nigga crazy. Why you ain't calling Elon Musk crazy? Why is it that white people get to do all this shit and nobody ever? Okay, when Elon Musk bust a monkey hand open and put a chip in there, that ain't crazy. Not the niggas. Oh no, man, that's different. That's what Kanye West saw him do. Shit like that. He was in the room watching. Right. But then Kanye West crazy for telling you what he saw. Which is ridiculous. But Elon Musk will come on TV and say, hey, man, we're living in a computer simulation, you know, and, 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 and you can manipulate it, and I put a monkey chip in your head. And then he's he's totally normal. And you know, it's, my voice shitty, but, you know, last, either last week or the week before, somebody that worked for Dog came out and said, he torturing the fuck out the monkeys and they miserable as fuck. And Hell no, yeah. Nobody cares. Nobody cares. Nobody <laughs> say, man, he crazy for no. Dog, Elon Musk 